eyes shall be opened. Okay, we can give this a try. Please <laughs> cheat. Yeah, I, I really have no idea why the demon hunter gave up there. It was probably just some kind of some kind of testing deck. Soldier Freela, woohoo legend. Congratulations. Awesome. Oh, by the way, Space Lego, you don't actually get 400 experience per hour either when you play this game in ranked. That's a, that's a funny little haha -ha moment. Because you get on average 400 XP per hour from the time that you are in matches. But any time that you're in menus or you're in the queue or anything, that immediately removes some of that experience. So you lose between 10 and 20% of that. Just by not not being in a match the whole time. I mean, I have the coin Dark Skies, which kills the Hanar. I think I want to. Let's just kill that Hanar right now. Not, not let any kind of secrets come into play. I have plenty of card draw here. So I can rebuild. Okay. Well, you're unlikely to pick sense demons, so it's either the plot twist or the Aranasi. Rogue probably picks the plot twist, right? That might even help the rogue. Time for me to send some demons here. Losing some of the Taranasi healing, of course, but it's not too bad yet. <laughs> Plot twisting. Okay. That is still fine. Bit of a hit there. It's okay. Can it be an ambush? Plagiarize? Let's say it's plagiarize. I'll just play the Sense Demons here. Ah, it was Dirty Tricks. Eight cards in hand. Okay. A lot of good chunk of cards in hand. I have another Dragon to activate the Grace Netherwing. Let's just hope there's no way to win a play coming. This current can be a little annoying. Silence all minions. Okay, that's fine. This is going to be the Grace Netherwing, of course. That still removes 10 power from the board. That seems fine. I don't know what this rogue is really trying to do. Could be just a secret rope version for this meta. Throwing Wicked with some Manari Mosher in a pain to sell. Okay. Well, that, that was totally fine. I didn't mind that at all. Like absolutely and totally okay. Nine cards in hand. If I play the Circus Amalgam, the Netherbird will no longer be active. I believe I need to tap and soul share that. Leaving these nine cards in hand should be fine. Oh no, it's a heist baron! Yikes! I I just have to know that breath that heist baron, right? My hand is full at the moment. Need to get rid of that one, I think. Eight cards in hand. I can also just tap this turn. This is still fine. Tapping here is still fine. That's the alternative plot twist in an attempt to find a twisting nether. What makes something... Maybe perhaps I should have one for that one actually. 
Especially now it looks like I should have went for that. There was a chance to get a twisting nether and that would have then played around, yeah. Needed to play the plot twist. Try to get a twisting nether. That's what that that is what needed to happen. That is one timely school spirits. Four damage to all minions. I mean, I could also soul share this, trade that, and get the abyssal summoner on this board. Chandis is back in hand though. I wanted to get this Ticatus going, but it seems really difficult to do so. There's always the, there's always the plot twist alternative. Should have played the Abyssal Summoner first, if that's what I'm going for. Missed one, one stats on the Demon. On the other hand, 8 mana, 8, 8. Is it easier to play than a 9 mana, 9, 9? If it gets thrown back. We'll see. Oh, there's a Rush minion. That's the Illusion, right? So many Illusions. Hi, <laughs> Replash. Does Coden take us from only Coden cards? I wouldn't know. Oh, that's not going to be an illusion. That's a pretty sweet one. Yep, and then just enough damage from with the Rush minion to kill my big demon. So this causes 4 damage from that, but that's not enough. This will also summon 2 to skeletons. Ouch. That's going to be the illusion. So I need to hit into this one. I have to play the Morg. the school spirits that one will be the only one that lives and I can play a circus amalgam on this board next turn I can plot twist into quest completion and potentially into a twisting nether it's a highlander deck whoa that's interesting. This can't corrupt the Ticatus. Time to plot twist. I'll give them a 2 2, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> Replash! Thanks. I gifted a tier 1 sub. Sad. Thank you so much. And welcome, Sad, to the god. It's a little sad looking card right now. Can I pick up a Twisting Nether, please? I cannot pick up a Twisting Nether, no. That is not a Twisting Nether either. Need to figure out something better than that. Well, the Cascading Disaster is now corrupted. So that can destroy two minions. We'll see. Nothing as it seems. I don't know. Is it the hero power? Could be the hero power. Well, this actually worked out really well in the end, because that trade happened. So this worked out much better than I expected it to do. I actually have a chance here. That 
twisting nether is so good. So I tap in the twisting nether now. That's so good. Is the secret to plagiarize? Then I don't want to give the rogue abyssal summoner. It's enough that they get the twisting nether. I don't care about them having a twisting nether all that much. Oh, so Dragon Queen Alexstrasza gave a Skeletal Dragon, which gave a Dragon Queen Alexstrasza. I see. Rogue has the Twisting Nether, of course. And I'm always going to play Tikatos this turn. And I'm always going to play the Cascading Disaster, right? I believe so. Do I want an Abyssal Summoner on this board? I don't want too many minions, I don't want the rogue to use the Twisting Nether next turn. It's just this one, and the Ticatus. And remove Ambush, Edwin, Yogg-Saron, Polkelt and Kronks. So rogue has Galagrond. Well, good that we got rid of the Kronks. But it is a Galagron croak, so Galagron is still there. Well, that's good to know. Is it in hand? Fairly likely. I mean, unless there's another secret, Ticatus will be played again next turn. From the Ashurash. Holding randomly generated dragons, there's going to be a Zepris in that deck. I'll find out if it's in hand very soon. Okay. But I'm going to get back the Cascading Disasters. One Cascading Disaster. That destroys three minions. I want to destroy those two cards, I don't want Rogue to have those. Dark Skies right now, 7 damage. Have to give it a try. We'll see if it can kill us. It can... no, I can't play Ashuras first, because this also deals damage to my own minions. So we'll see if that kills something. Unfortunately it didn't. That means that I have to play the Abyssal Summoner too. And the Cascading Disaster. And another Ticatus. So we destroy Flick. And backstab. Galagrond is in hand already. Okay, Rogue has the Galagrond in hand. This will probably require Rogue to use the Twisting Nether. Or the Zepris. One or the other. Ruin is kind of okay. Don't let the door hit you. I plenty of removal left in the deck. Ooh, that's sweet. Five cards in my deck. Can I afford to tap here? I believe I can. Too bad I missed the discount on that. And school spirits there kill those. Okay. So Rogue... I mean, Rogue can't even play the Galagrond, right? Rogue is just going to fatigue so hard if they play the Galagrond. So what they really have is that Reborn minion. Not a bad Reborn minion, I suppose. Not a bad one. I could just Twisting Nether this, right? 
I'm just twisting nether and nether breath this. That's totally fine. Kills the reborn. So, Calagrond, Twisting Nether, and one other card, but there shouldn't be an out for the rogue. If it's a mirror, I need to find Ticatus. Tick tock, tick tock. Well, they're definitely not playing a quest deck. What is meta? What is? I don't know. What is life? What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. No more. Forty, what are your thoughts about Mage Legendary Record Deck of Lunacy? Hopefully, it will be useless. I expect that it will be useless, but who knows? So, Scrap Imp, eh? <laughs> I demand Meta and Net Decks. Everyone is just playing totally random stuff. And the games are really weird. Nothing makes any sense. That, that's so far my impression. <laughs> I, I don't even know what's going on here. But soon it will be all aggro decks, right? And those clown druids. Oh no! That's a lot of health on this board. So 8 damage, but there's 12 health on the board. Can I be the first to say yikes? I can do more work in the school spirits next turn. That will deal 4 damage to everything. I'm taking 10 before that happens. That's not fun. But I suppose that's the way. My cards in hand. I'm taking 10 here. And I hope that the Warlock cannot develop any minions that have more than 4 health. Because if they can, then that's going to be a huge problem. Oh no! Oh yes! They don't have more than 4 health. So far so good. So far so good. That one has more than 4 health. Okay, something lives. It's fine, it's fine. I still get rid of most of them. And I have another Moorwark and Netherbreath here. And I have the Circus Amalgam, which is a dragon. Don't have a Hand of Gul'dan. No. That's not fun. That's the opposite of fun. Nine cards in hand. Nine held on the board. Well, that's convenient. Can I go down to 11? Too bad I have only 7 mana next turn and not 8. I guess I don't dare to go down to 11. I'll just kill those. That's going to be another board though. We'll see how big. Are all the deep minions in that deck demons? Okay, the teleport didn't come yet. That's splendid news. That's splendid news. That means that I have enough time to play the Abyssal Summoner here. Look what I brought! It's an 8 8 demon! A demon, what do you have? Raised it, fine. That's still okay. Why do you call? 
So far so good then. Do I want to heal now? I think I want to heal so that I I don't accidentally die. I mean I have the option to play another Abyssal Summoner and then just Nether Breath this one. Push 8 to the face. Or I could play a Grace Nethering to kill all of these. And then push the 8 to the face and hold on to the Nether Breath. I would go down to 12. But with no minions on the board. And then that, that's pretty promising too. I think I like this. Also playing that nether to the face. Let's put that warlock down to 6 health. There could be another Nightshade Matron, together with the minion that gives it life steal. There is so much untapped power in this world. And you were just a burden. Yeah, that could come with the life steal minion. And it does. And that saves the warlock for a brief moment. So, I could Twisting Nether this. Any other options? I guess there's something like a Dark Skies. How much health? So if I hit over there, that's 3, 6. I'm too much health. Dark Skies doesn't clear. Dark Skies into another Grace Netherwing. That might work. What if I try that? Because it's quite likely that all of the minions will go to 3 health or below. So now I have seen the Nightshade Matrons. I still have a Twisting Nether left as well. Double Dark Clairs, okay. So a bunch of mana is available. I still have the Twisting Nether. So even, even if you get a bunch of mana, is that really going to help? That's interesting. Seven cards in the opponent's deck. There are two minions that were resurrected. That's getting really interesting. I think I need to tap here. I haven't had any cascading disasters. So the Ashuras is a little limited in its power. So if the if the warlock taps, I'll just play Tikatus and they die to fatigue. Because now there are only five cards left. Oh dear, you seem to be out of cards. Alright. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more.